you guys doing? I look at ourselves Great. more as three fourths. Three fourths? Three fourths. Five eighths? Sixteen yeah. twenty fifths? Yeah, more like that. Okay. So why? Because just to fuck you. Just to, just to talk? Yeah. What are you guys up to just right to now? Bleep, bleep. What are you doing these days? We're very inspired by you. <laughs> in, in addition to that. Right now we're looking at we're you. We're looking at you. Okay, You're well. the raddest girl that's ever interviewed us in the you history are. of this band. Oh, you are a picture. Oh my god. We love you. So what are you guys up to? Besides, you know, touring. Coming on at women and stuff like that. Touring? Um, we've been touring for two years and we got to see the ruler of the earth, Meat Loaf. We played two festivals with the Loaf and uh, we're able to talk to him. He's probably the most inspiring artist I've ever seen. Why is that? I emphasize the word artist because he's, you know, he's half thespian and half rock and roll god. He's just, have you ever seen him play live? No. It's a, if you ever get the chance, if you ever get the chance to see Meatloaf, go. Don't go see Ugly Kid Joe. Don't go see anything but Meatloaf. Meatloaf is ruler. See this? It says it all, two words. I'm changing my name to Hamburger. <laughs> I have a new album coming out. This is, I think, their second effort. They put one out a long time ago. And so, how's, uh, how's, New songs coming along. Are, are you working on anything? Yeah, yet? we got we got ideas. You know what's neat right now? I feel is like it seems like we write like slugs, like you know, as a slug moves on the ground. It seems like that's like we write, but right now it feels like uh, like if you were to boil water and start boiling. Like I kind of feel that vibe. Like we're all coming with ideas, and everyone's got their four tracks going on. You know what a four track is? Your little studio in your room. And uh, yeah, we're really excited to get back and start, you know, working on it in a in a practice place. You know, we have. So you're not writing on the road. We are, but but it's it's it, the vibe of actually writing a song for me in particular. Like I like to belt stuff out, like while you're actually jamming in a room with turned on equipment and this and that. So I'm excited to get back to the United States after this, you know, the tour. We're, I think we're done September 20th, and really sit down and start to, you know, just work do on it. a new album. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, you were supposed to come to Toronto, I think it was last Valentine's Day, and you, the show got cancelled, and we actually got a letter from a very, very upset person because they were going to come and see you, and you got, you got cancelled because one of the band members got hurt when somebody threw a bottle exactly. on stage. A Budweiser long neck. What happened? Who got hurt? We went out to play the song, second song, all of a sudden this bottle comes to me like this, like, you know, barely misses me, then one hits him in the hand, he's holding the mic like that and breaks, and then the last one hit Klaus dead in the top of the head. Klaus, he said, bye bye. The, Klaus, the nicest guy in the band. <laughs> Wouldn't hurt a fly. What do you think about violence at shows? From both your end and from the end of the kids watching and moshing and sometimes getting hurt. Um, well, I love the energy, and it's not, you know, moshing isn't, you know, I wouldn't think moshing would be the definition of violence, but for this in particular show, this in particular incident, it was a show in um, Long Island. No, it was it was Long yeah. Island, and, a, and it was a free show. Like, we, we, we'd consented with the radio station to play a free show, so we played a free show, so a, a bunch of, uh, you know, people came, you know, just and just got heated on these Bud Talls, and we were in there for free, and probably were there for the wrong reason, and uh, so that particular incident, I wouldn't really consider a, you know, the norm. It yeah, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be the norm, it, it, something, something was wrong with that, you know, that was just the wrong way to do it. Okay, we're going to uh, play one of your videos right now, did we discuss already what we're going to see? What do you want to see? One of yours. I wouldn't want to really see one of our videos. Oh, come on, we have to play one. We'll come I back and we'll play one of uh, somebody else's that you want to see. Yeah, let's do that. No, but we'll do that next time. Right now, let's check out one of yours. Okay. What do you want to see? Your favorite. Why don't you pick it, Yeah, sweetie, you huh? pick it. Okay, this is my uh, Ugly Kid Joe pick and you're just going to have to see. That you picked, and uh, that was Infectious Grooves with Ozzy. Therapy. Come. Therapy. Cool Therapy. Cool video. Therapy. Cool video. That's why. Okay. Do you? Uh, I think it's a it's a bastard mix of the fact that Mark Dodson produced Infectious Grooves, which is our producer. <laughs> Isn't that neat how watch I can go like this and she, you can still hear me. <laughs> See, they're mic'd and I forgot. But this is like the thing that you, cool they though. used to doing. And uh, it's almost like an artsy thing to do. This is all. This is my own microphone for today. It's all mine. Go on. Uh, Mark Dodson meets the fact that we really and truly love Ozzy. So this is almost like a, a treat for everybody, for the whole family. <laughs> all right. So thanks very much for dropping by. Thank you. And uh, I hope uh, your end of the tour comes. Swiftly, so you can continue writing an album. Yes. Okay, bye. Good bye, Whitfield. Nice. <laughs> we love this girl. <laughs>